hello guys welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys we are going to fix the issue disk one is unknown not initialized so first of all I should tell you why you are getting this issue so there are mainly five reasons behind this error the first one is outdated driver virus attack partition lost bed sector in the hard drive or the SSD or the MBR or GPT corruption so we will try to resolve this issue step by step so first of all we will repair the bad sectors if there is any in our hard drive or the SSD so in order to open the CMD go to windows search bar type their CMD and run it as an administrator with a right click and in this step there is no loss to your data so we need to type here the command CHK DSK the partition or the drive letter which you are getting the issue so let's say if you are getting the issue in the E drive so you need to select here the E then colon space slash F space slash R F will fix the error and R will repair the bed sectors hit enter so in my case it is raw drive but it should not in your case so let me assign the drive letter to it we need to press window plus R button together and type here disk mgmt dot msc hit that ok and this is the disk 2 in my case so make sure if it is unknown you can right click it and you can initiate the drive if it is not it is blur there so we can let me assign the letter to it so that we can hit the CSK DSK command so the C drive is given So E drive has been assigned to it. So let me hit this command again. Now you will see. And this will repair the bed sectors as well as the any hard drive corruptions inside your the corrupted drive. And this will fix the issue. So let's wait for some time. It might take some times. Okay, now the disk space is done now and once this command is done check if your issue is solved or not if your issue is still not solved after applying this command we can go to the device manager and we will check if there are any outdated driver you can also change the port change the port to different port and go to disk drives update it update all the update all the drivers here related to disk drives and they would go to universal serial bus controller and especially look for these USB root hub and also update it if it is yellow rectangles make sure it is updated and this will fix the issue okay once all the drivers are updated here it should fix your issue if your issue is still not fixed so we have to format our drive so in this case the, all the data will be lost so make sure uh, you have not important data inside your that drive so open the partition disk management and you need to right click here and click on delete volume click on yes okay you need to like right click here after that click on new volume select that next next choose as default so 
so it is raw now which we need to format it so it should be fix your issue now since we have assigned letter to it you can also change the letter or path click on change and assign the different letter to it like F click on OK OK and and check if you are able to fix this issue or not if you are unable to format it from here and do not able to do anything from here so if your issue is still not fixed guys we can take the help from OEME partition so I have downloaded that how to download that this is a professional tool you need to go to the search bar tab there AOME partition assistant and select here for all Windows 10 11 8 click on download free option okay once you downloaded that just run the setup here like this once this wizard opens just drag it and select your volume here select your volume which is not operating good right click on it and click on rebuild MBR and you need to select here the as it is 1078 ok and click on apply and you need to click on proceed click on yes plug in the charger congratulations all operations have been completed successfully click on ok and now it should fix your issue click on apply and you can also initialize the system here like initialize disk if you are able to access it or you can wipe the hard drive click on ok and this will un unallocate your space click on apply and later on yes and this will delete all the data from your drive so once this is done check if you are able to access your hard drive or not so it should you should access your hard drive from here and you can also initiate some create partition select as it is e drive next and you can see okay so this is how you can troubleshoot the issue so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech